What's up everybody? Just uh, got a new Rogue bar in. It's always a good day when UPS man drops off some Rogue equipment. Uh, this one, I uh, chose to film because I haven't seen a review on it yet. And I was very tempted to buy it when it came out. Uh, it sold out quickly, uh, which I thought was kind of a cool thing. Um, Cause I think these bars are, you know, gonna be a little more popular than in the next coming years. But this one is the stump, the rogue stump. So what you got is a power bar, a shorty power bar. So these sleeves are maybe seven and a half inches. Uh, I believe these are E-coat. I don't think this is uh, Cerakote. It's E-coat. I have to double check, but 29 millimeter, all stainless steel, or stainless steel shaft rather, single neural mark, center neural, um, and then the aggressive power bar knurling. I'll try to get a good shot of that. an iPhone 11. Um, this bar kind of uh, complements uh, the C70S, which I have in the rack right here. Um, I bought this bar, I don't know, six months ago. Um, you can see I'm in a bedroom. This bedroom's only 10 and a half by 10 and a half, so, you know, maybe you wouldn't think saving, I don't know, this bar, the C70S is, uh, well, the sleeves on it are just under nine inches, 8.75 or something like that. Anyway, you're saving about a foot uh, getting these bars. And I can load in bumpers. I'm using these Echo, Rug Echoes, uh, rubber plates. I can get a little over 300 pounds on that using um some change plates mostly the rubbers but uh this stump has maybe an inch smaller collars shorter collars uh but this is more meant for like calibrated plates so they state uh that if you got calibrated plates you can basically load this for with 500 pounds so you could load the c70s here with you know probably six or seven hundred pounds more than enough for 90 percent of us you know, um, there's no, I've got no reason to lift over 600 pounds. I've probably got no reason to lift over 450. Um, so, you know, maybe this will be a better choice for some people. Uh, you know, when they go to buy bars, they're a little bit cheaper. Um, you know, to me, I, I mean, I, I, I'd rather use these bars, even if I had the space. Um, they're just easy to pick up, move around. Um, you know, I don't need a foot and a half uh, collar on my bar, or sleeve rather, like this. I got the Rogue. This thing is just obnoxious. I mean, if you put calibrated plates on that thing, you'd probably put 2,000 pounds on it or something. 15, at least, 50, I'd imagine 1,500 pounds, but uh, that bar is a squeeze in here, the, uh, squat bar, safety squat bar. But, um, this bar sold out pretty quick when they first offer it. It didn't, it, uh, uh, didn't have any, like, you know, extended shipping dates. Uh, when it first hit, uh, the thing sold out in like two or three weeks. And then they re-offered it, and it said 14 to 30 days uh, shipping, but this bar showed up in four days. It's Wednesday, I ordered it Saturday night at like midnight or 10 p.m. Um, so think about that, you know. Uh, do you need a 8-foot bar or 87-inch bar, about 7.5 feet? Um, or would one of these two 
work out. Beautiful bar, stainless steel, 29 millimeters. Aggressive knurl. Um, the stump. 30 pounds. Made in the USA. Gotta love it.